First time I hugged my friend's mother. She said it's okay. I know. I looked at her confused, trying to understand what a woman I just met could possibly know about me. She replied with a whisper, her voice secretly handing me a baton in a relay I never knew that I was in. She said, people like us will know us. Somewhere, a mummified truth has resurrected from a pyramid subconscious that as a child, I'd been molested by a family friend. For years, I filed victim under forgotten. Everything didn't migrate south when I moved from Boston. I left behind the touches in the basement that never should have happened, and somehow she knew. We scarred souls, sparking static electricity without words. There was conversation, there was consolation, but eventually I forgot again. Ten years later, I met a young lady who was trying to explain to me why she was so complicated. I told her it's okay. I know. I looked into her confused eyes, remember what it was like to decipher understanding. I gave her a hug of reassurance because some people don't know why they're still running. I told her people like us will know us, will understand the vibrations of a universe, that a bedroom can be a prison cell, silk threads, jail cell bars, and every meal stale bread. I know what it's like to question your worth, to wonder if every relationship is doomed before it starts. Afraid to hug because people are too close. Afraid to love because people too close. Afraid to live because people close suffer from close people violating you. I know, I know that nothing is the same now. I know that every decision is a trade-off, that me touching you prevents you from touching me back, confusing Van Gogh love for street graffiti affection, but still daring to be an art critic. I just don't want to be appraised, to find my value lacking, to display my flaws, soak charcoal when we should be an oil painter, girl. We are masterpieces, knife cut positive, watercolor mistakes. Don't allow your smudged circumstance to ruin your exquisiteness. It is okay to be complicated, a ball of yarn that is knotted and unwilling to unwind, but you have the potential of Arabian cotton to be woven into function, into beauty, to grow beyond the pale moonlight. That's why I'm writing this hug to you to remind you that your pain is not your identity, that you will not drown in your tears, that your nightmares will have an ending. Do not allow your confusion to condemn you. I know you feel like your past is a black hole and you wonder if you will ever be bright enough to be seen again, if you can ever be bright enough to love again, if you can ever be bright enough to take back that peace that was taken from you. And I promise you that one day, you're gonna hug someone. The baton is going to drop out of your hands. And that is when you'll know, you'll just know.